Hello everyone! In this lesson, I'll be demonstrating how to use the skyscraper pattern to solve harder Sudoku puzzles. Here's the puzzle I'll be using for this demonstration. It's from Hodoku, and it was labeled as hard puzzle number 67. Just to be sure it's really a hard puzzle, I put it into another Sudoku solver, and sure enough, it's rated hard. So I began solving this puzzle using typical solving strategies, nothing fancy. I'll do a separate video on the solve, but after a bit I got to this point here. You can see that it's quite a challenge, and it doesn't look like there's anywhere to move next. Here's the puzzle with all the possible candidates filled in, and as you can see, there are no more naked singles or other low-hanging fruit, so to speak. So this is where the skyscraper can be very helpful. What is a skyscraper pattern? If you find two rows or two columns that can have only two candidates for a particular digit, then if two of those numbers are in the same column or row, it follows logically that one of the two must be true and the other false. In that case, any candidates of the same digit that sees both can be eliminated. It sounds complicated, but it's really very similar to the X-Wing logic. Here we have an example of a skyscraper on the sevens. Pause this video and see if you can spot two columns that have only two candidates for a particular digit. Do you see it? It's the number seven. Now do you see it? At this point in the puzzle, column two has only two places a seven can go, here and here. And in column seven, there are two places a seven can go, either here or here. This pattern is similar to an X-wing pattern and has a similar logic. However, instead of forming a nice, neat X pattern, the roof is slanted a bit, making it look like a skyscraper, I guess. Here's the logic. Let's suppose this seven in column two is true then the other seven in the same column cannot also be true. And so it's false. And that means this seven in the eighth row, row H, column seven, must be true. And then this seven in the top row, row A, column seven, cannot be true. So here is how it looks. If this is true, then this must also be true. And these are false. Now let's look at the other possibility that this first seven is not true. Then this seven in the same column, row H, must be true. And then this seven in row H, column seven, cannot be true. Therefore, this seven in row A, column seven, must be true. So in this scenario, these two are true, and these two are false. Let's take another look at these two possibilities. On the left, you see the first scenario, and on the right, you see the second scenario. So now let's look at the bottom here. This is the base of the skyscraper. One of these is true, meaning it's a seven, and the other is false, meaning it's not a seven. But they both can't be true. They can't both be sevens at the same time. One will be true, the seven, and the other will be false, not a seven. Now, looking at the top of the skyscraper, we have these two sevens with the same logic. They both can't be true at the same time, so one is true and one is false. If this is a seven in row H, column two, then this cell in the same column can't be a seven, right? And if this is a seven in row H, column seven, then this cell in the same column can't be a seven, right? So now that we understand the logic, I hope, we can eliminate any sevens that see both of these sevens since one of them has to be true. Here in row one, column one, this seven sees both the sevens from the skyscraper. This seven is in the same block as this seven and in the same row as this seven, so it sees both and therefore it can be eliminated. And then this seven in row B, column eight, sees both of the skyscraper sevens. It's in the same block as this seven and the same row as this seven. So since one of those sevens has to be true, this seven can be eliminated. This seven in column one can't be eliminated since it doesn't see both of the sevens in the skyscraper. It can only see this one. It's in the same row and block, but it doesn't see this seven 
So we can't eliminate it or any other seven. But we were able to eliminate the sevens from these two cells and that is very helpful. Now we can continue solving this puzzle using the matched two seven pair in row H to eliminate the remaining twos and sevens in that row. And then we can use the three five matching pair in column three to eliminate any other threes or fives in that block and so on until the puzzle is solved. But that's for another video. Let's take a look at another example of the skyscraper. Here's another example with a rotated view. Now the base of the skyscraper is a column instead of a row. Here's how the puzzle starts out and then after solving a bit we get to this point and then when I fill in the possible candidates you can see the skyscraper pattern. Pause this video and see if you can find two rows where the same number appears only twice. In this case it's the number three. The three appears in the third row, that's row C, two times and in the fifth row, that's row E, also only two times. The same logic as we used before applies except this time we're checking across the rows instead of down the columns. The logic is as follows. If this three in row C, column five, is true, then this three in the same row, column nine, cannot be true and therefore this three in row E, column nine, must be true and then this three in the same row, column four, cannot be true. So either these two threes are true or these two threes are true. These threes in column nine make up the base of the skyscraper. Remember in the previous example the base was across the row. Now the base is down a column. And then the roof contains these two threes, one of which is true and the other is false. So any three candidates that see both these cells can be eliminated. This three in the second row, row B, column four, sees both threes. It's in the same block as this one and in the same column as this. So since it sees both and one of them will be true, then it can't also be true. So it's false and can be eliminated. And then this three in row D, column five, can also be eliminated since it also sees both cells. It's in the same block as this one and the same column as this one. And that's how the skyscraper pattern works. If you spot it, then it can help you get further in a puzzle. I will do a future solve with me video using the skyscraper technique, so please stay tuned for that. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.